moving the shipment but we must go now there's a carriage on the next corner if we hide within they'll drive us right to it i'll hide inside it you're going home home back to a cold and cheerless house these ones get to live at least until they drive me to this factory
When I find you, I'll string you...
hell was that? <laughs> You're back. Mr. Morris, I see. I was afraid it would come to this. He was a good man, but even the best of us can lose our way when blinded by grief. Still, I thank you for preventing a greater tragedy. they abuse. If only we had some form of proof. There must be records of the accident somewhere inside, which would surely prove their malfeasance. I should think you'd need to find the foreman. But how you convince him to give you the reports? Perhaps if they take the factory in fire.
going to burn! Get a fire engine here! Quickly! Come with me. I have a job for you. Be happy if their accounts go up in smoke. Keep moving. They should be just inside here. Oh, there they are. Good. I'm so relieved to have found you. I fear my upcoming meeting is going to be disrupted. Strike breakers, maybe. Are you struck? That will be all. I'm with you. Huh. So I'm bodyguarding them. Marvelous. I worry that any agitation will incite terrible violence. So please remove troublemakers without attracting any attention. Wunderbar. Thank you. Must prepare, but I will see you inside shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, United Workers! The man we're here to see needs no introduction, but I shall give him one anyway. He has sacrificed so much in the hope that we may all benefit. Please give a warm reception to Mr. Karl Marx. Get off! 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 Get off!
Oh, what's happening here? Something's going on. Something strange going on. up to now. of the working class. We must attempt the political reorganization of the workers if we are to improve their lot. The workers must go forward in a united fashion with the simultaneous demand that the simple laws of morality and justice, which are considered right in the relations of private persons, shall be recognized as the supreme law governing labor in this country. The struggle for such a policy is expressed in the universal struggle for the emancipation Ladies of... Ladies and gentlemen, this meeting is adjourned. You're all free to go. Apart from Mr. Mars, him we want to have words with. Stay Don't here. I'll do this. Yes. It'll never be easiest, Clank. A great service for the workers of London and confidence the reforms we seek cannot be far over the hmm. horizon. I don't suppose you'd formally join the Workers' Party. Mm -hmm. I'm not much for politics. He's not much for anything that requires deep thought. Does that mean you'll join, Comrade Evie? I'm afraid I have other responsibilities. Honorary memberships, perhaps. You don't give up, do you? We seem to have that in common. Auf Wiedersehen, my friends.
Thank goodness you're here. Impossible as it may sound, spring Jack has returned. We need to do something before the unthinkable happens. I thought we'd already dealt with this nonsense. There may be more to this than we originally thought. Yeah, that's 
Thanks to you, the Ghost Club's reputation has grown tremendously. We are a beacon of reason in a world beguiled by superstition. But I believe we have encountered one genuine spirit. Can you be certain? That's the question. One might surmise that the spirits that haunt us are simply our deepest fears, manifested as apparitions. Shame. I've always wanted to see a ghost. Or a goblin. I propose a toast. To the Ghost Club and the virtuous twins that have aided it. Miss Evie and Mr. Jacob. Cheers! Cheers. are not apes. If the circumstances were not so grave, I'd compliment the artist on the wonderful caricature. They are fools if they believe they can Come along, we have work to do. And we'll see a first loud iron down.
Serves you right.
What look is that chap now, are ya? 